Drugs in pregnancy, antibiotics, safe cephalosporins, ampicillin, metronidazole, penicillin. So you have to listen this lecture at 2x for 3 times once every week and you'll memorize everything without any effort. Contraindication. In trimester 1, nitrofurantoin, drug of choice for asymptomatic bacteria, fluconazole, and trimethoprim. Trimester 2, sulfamethexazole. Throughout pregnancy, fluoroquinolones, toxic to cartilage, aminoglycosides, ototoxic and nephrotoxic, tetracycline, discoloration of bone and teeth, gray baby syndrome. Note, in G6PD deficiency, nitrofurantoin and sulfamethexazole should be avoided. Doxycycline, only tetracycline used if strong indication for use is present. Anticoagulant, warfarin, low molecular weight heparin. Advantages, potent anticoagulant, cannot cross placenta, heparin. Disadvantage, warfarin crosses the placenta, teratogenic. If used at time of delivery, increase risk of postpartum hemorrhage, fetal intracranial hemorrhage. Disadvantage of low molecular weight heparin, low potency anticoagulant. Monitored using warfarin, INR, and low molecular weight heparin, factor XA. Target value, INR 2.5 to 3, low molecular weight heparin 0 0.8 to 1.0. Teratogenicity of warfarin depends on dose of warfarin more than equal to 5 mg per day. Teratogenic dose. Period of gestation maximum in uh, trimester 1 at 7 to 9 weeks. Note, low molecular weight heparin may be replaced by unfractionated heparin one week prior to delivery due to faster action and reversibility. Wall replacement, mechanical wall replacement, anticoagulant plus aspirin continued until 36 weeks. By prosthetic wall replacement, aspirin only. Therapeutic decision making. Period of gestation up to 12 weeks. Anticoagulant of choice. Based on pre consumption dose of warfarin, less than 5 mg per day, continue warfarin plus aspirin, more than equal to 5 mg per day, low molecular weight heparin plus aspirin, 12 to 36 weeks warfarin plus aspirin, at 36 weeks stop aspirin. Replace warfarin with low molecular weight heparin. 24 hours before delivery, stop low molecular weight heparin. 6 hours after vaginal delivery, 6 to 12 hours after C-section. Unfractionated heparin plus warfarin, INR 2.5 to 3. Withdraw UFH unfractionated heparin plus lifelong warfarin. Management of patient on warfarin at the time of delivery. Stop warfarin. Deliver by C-section due to risk of heat fetal intracranial hemorrhage. Injection vitamin K to mother to prevent postpartum hemorrhage and to baby as well. Um, Desala syndrome. Caused by warf warfarin use in pregnancy. Fetal anom anomalies. Chondrodyplasia. Uh, depressed nasal bridge, stippled epiphysis, cataract, CNS defects, microcephaly, hydrocephalus, dandy walker malformation. Anti-epileptics, teratogenicity, valproic acids, most uh, teratogenic, more than phenytoin, more than phenobarbitone, more than carbamazepine, more than lamotrigine, more than lev levitiracetam least teratogenic valproic acid uses causes neural tube defects 
CNS malformation, urinary tract deformities. Therapeutic decision making. First epileptic attack in pregnancy, drug of choice is Levitaracetam more than Lamotrigine. If known case of epilepsy conceives, continue same drug in the lowest possible dose plus folic acid supplementation more than equal to one month before conception, 0.4 mg per day after conception, 1 mg per day.